Hello and good morning, friends of Sudoku, and welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. Today is Saturday, August 19, 2023. The first thing I always do when I start a new puzzle is I just look at it from a, a helicopter point of view, trying to see if I can find any very obvious single digits. And if I can, I'll just enter it. At this point, I'm not really looking for numbers or for digits. All I'm doing is I'm looking for shapes because each digit has a very distinctive shape. And that's all I'm looking for at this point. I'm seeing this triangle of twos, this two blocks here, this two blocks across here, and this two blocks up here. So it's quite easy to spot this two. And now that I've found the two, I immediately scan this shoot here because I know I need another two for this block two up here. And these twos here block these five squares, this two blocks these two squares, so here's a two. Now I scan to the right to see if I can do anything with the twos in box number three. This two blocks up, and we got these twos blocking across, so a two must go here or here. So I can't see anything immediate that I can do with a two over here. My eye is catching the 6, 8 here and the 6, 8 up here. And uh, then, of course, I can't resist looking at the 6, 8 blocking here, knowing that 6 and 8 must go in these four squares. And that's as far as I can take this, except, of course, for the fact that the 8 blocks across like so. So an 8 must go in one of these squares. But now that I've seen this, it's difficult to unsee this. And uh, I'm pretty sure that I will remember this. Can't unsee this. What I very often then do is I notice that there are three empty squares here in row three. So if a three can't go here or here, it uh, follows that it must go here, here, or here. And now I scan these three empty positions to see if there's any good place for the three and I don't see anything right away so I don't do anything more about this. There's an eight and an eight here blocking down eight blocks over one of these must be an eight. Uh, we have twos here or here of course because of these twos here. Now is also a good time to realize that this eight blocks here, this eight blocks here and here so an eight can only go in one of these two positions in row three. Four, six, and eight must go in three of these five squares. There's a four and a six here. So I'm already making a mental note of the fact that a four must go here, here, or here, and a six as well. Six also can go here, of course. Now I'm looking a little closer and I'm looking at this box number four here. I know that I need a three, four, six, and a nine. And uh, looking at this square, I notice that the four, four, six, and a nine all converge on this position. So this must be a three. Now a four, six, and a nine for these squares. Now I'm looking at these four squares, and they must be filled with a nine and a one, a seven, and a five. Five, nine block here, so this is a one or a seven. And I can't really take this much further at the moment. But now we got eight and three here, and eight and three here. So eight and three must go in two of these three squares. This square here interests me because it can't be a one and it cannot be a two, it cannot be a three, nor can it be a four or a five or a six or a seven or an eight. So it must be a nine. These therefore must be a five, four, and a one. Let's see, four must go here or here. 
one and a five can't go here. So yes, here's a four. This is now a five and a one. And these are nine and six. And we know which goes where because this nine blocks across, this nine blocks down. So we have a nine in one of these two squares blocking across. So here's a six and here's a nine. Now we have a six here, here. And a one, five, seven, nine here. This is a one, seven. So four and six in two of these squares here. It's enough possible, I think, yet to just say which of them is going to be the one. So I'll just have to wait a little with that. Every time we find ourselves a little lost, it pays off sometimes to look at intersections between rows and columns, and sometimes even boxes, where there are a lot of different numbers. Let's take this position, for example. It cannot be a one. It could be a two, but not a three, four, five six, seven, eight, or nine. So yes, it is a two. Now this square must be a two. And we have a two up here. Three, six, seven, eight here. There's a six, seven, and an eight blocking this square, which therefore must be a three. Now we have a three here or here. and a six, seven, eight here. The eight blocks this position, this eight blocks this position, so here's an eight. Here we're looking for a six and a seven. And we're looking for an eight here or here. Look again, bro. This is a one five, we know that. Now let's take a look at these three squares. They must be a, also a one five and one more digit, a nine. So this nine blocks over. So guess what? Here is a one five and here is a one five. And that means that this square can only be a nine. Now we have nine here because of these two nines blocking across and this nine blocking down, here is a nine. And that gives us this nine here. Now we're looking for a one, five, and a seven for these squares. Five blocks over. One of these is a five blocking down. Blocking over. No, I'm not going to be able to do that yet. But we got one, five here, here, and here, and here. And six and seven here. So we are making progress, albeit a little slow. So let's look across here. We do have lots of givens converging on this square here and this square. So let's see what we can do. We need a one, four, five, six, and eight. Four. Well, this is a one five, we know that. So four, six, eight, four and six can't go here. Four and six can't go here. Four actually can only go here, isn't that true? And that gives us a four in one of these two positions in the bottom row. Four, six, eight, we said that a six can't go here. Also a six can't go here. So here's a six. One five eight, one five eight. This is a one five. We got an eight blocking here as well. So here's an eight. Now here's a one five and here's a one five. An eight now must go in this square because this eight blocks across, this eight blocks down. So yes, here's an eight. Can we do anything in those four squares at the bottom? There must be again a one five and a seven and a four. I'm not really sure about that. 
of course the four must go here here but i'm not sure about and, and the five can't go here that's important because one of these is a five we established that already one three seven five here One, seven, three, five. Ah, hang on. Yes, three up here somewhere. But the rest I don't know about. But one thing I know about the seven is that it must go here or here, and therefore here or here. The other digit up here is an eight. The eight blocks over, so a seven is forced to, to go here, and an eight must go here. Now we have an eight here as well. This is seven blocks across, this seven blocks up, and therefore we have a seven here and here. This virtual seven blocks down, this seven blocks up, so here's a seven. Now we know that this is a one because it was a one seven square. Now it's a one. Now we have seven and a five here. The seven blocks over, here's a five, here's a seven. Now we have a five here and here, and the other digit must be a three. Well, we can't do much about those now. We now know that these must be, well, let's do this one first. This must be a one, and this must be a four and a six. The six blocks up, so the four must go here and the six here. That gives us a six in the top row, like so. Now we have a six here, here, and locking up. Well, six here, 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 so that's no good. Three four and a five here three and four blocks here so here's a five that makes this a one of course and this a five before i forget it now we have a five in this position and therefore a three here and this must be the four now this four blocks across this four blocks across this blocks up here's a four a seven nine and a three Seven nine three, seven nine three. That will have to wait a little. One three and a seven here. Three blocks across. Three here or here, but and seven here or here. One. One I don't know much about. And have a one blocking over here though, and up here. So here's a one. So we got ones in one of these two positions. As I find this one, I like to look here. There are only three digits missing, so it's easy to spot that they must be a five, seven, and a six. But it's not easy to spot which of them it is going to be. Six goes here or here. And also here and here, by the way, because we have this six blocking up, right? Now we have a virtual six blocking across, another six blocking across, and this six blocking up. So here's the six. Three, seven, and a nine. Not clear, not yet. One, three, five, five, yes, one, three, five. Three, five, seven still. So we need a three for one of these squares here. And a one, five, and no, a one, four, and a six here. There's a one and a four blocking this square, which is a six now. Now we've got a six here, and things are looking bright. These two must be a one and a four. The four blocks over, here's a one, here's a four. Now we got a one here, therefore a one up here. This must be a five, and that makes this a three. Now we got three here or here, and here or here, therefore this must be a three. And this can only be a seven now, making this a seven and this a, what is missing? A five. Even the ones we miss. Here we need a seven. Up here a nine and a three. 
and here a five and a three five blocks over here's a three here's a five now here's a three and here's a nine this must be a nine and this must be a seven and this is precisely the way that i go about solving most sudokus thank you for watching and bye for now